Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Now today I, I'm going to be talking about the Masters Tokyo Playoff results. And obviously, here are the teams before we get into the results. So we have, we have Loud, Team Liquid, Fnatic, and Paper Rags. They came uh, from uh, basically their leagues, so they didn't have to go through the group stages. Well, Evil Geniuses, NRG, DRX, and Edward Gaming. Yes, Edward Gaming. Um, made it in, uh, made it here via the group stage. So let's now talk about the first res well, the first match, which was Loud versus Evil Geniuses, and it was <laughs> EG winning against Loud, which I was a bit surprised about. Um, to a victory for Evil Geniuses. Um, Jogmo, he had the game of his life. He did really really well. Um, fraction, I went thirteen seven. For the EG and then um, 13 5 on the scent for also for EG. I wasn't really impressed with Aspasel's Neon, I'll be honest. And they were really focusing a lot on Aspasel as well. They're really shutting him down really well. Um, so I think they played as really, uh, really, really well. 4K as well from Tuzzy and Kalanzi from Loud uh, and also from Ethan Demon 1. And, he, and even a 1v3 clutch win as well from Demon 1 for the side of Evil Geniuses. Team Liquid, next, they won against Edward Gaming, a very close 2-1 victory for Team Liquid. Um, Kang Kang, he was the story of Edward Gaming. Like, he, he like, uh, this, like, this match, like, M like the other matches with brother he played, oh my god, did he pop off. He, he was phenomenal in every single match that he was a part of. Uh, Safe, he was also really, really good as well. And that's kind of really all. I mean, like, Red Call wasn't too bad, Soul Cast wasn't bad, Yampi wasn't bad, Nats was meh, but, um, it was mainly safe and Kang Kang, I was the later two duelers of that team. 13 on Haven went to Team Liquid, 13 8 on Split went to Edward Gaming, and 13 11 on Lotus went to Team Liquid. So, pretty close game yeah, um, all, all the way, especially on Lotus. And Ace coming out from Kang Kang, and even a 1 3 3 clutches as well, one by Red Call from Team Liquid and Hal Dong from, uh, from Edward Gaming. And even a couple 4Ks as well, two from Kang Kang and Haldong, and one from Smoggy from the side of Edward Gaming. Fnatic vs NRG, obviously the long-awaited uh, NRG vs Fnatic match, and it was a bit underwhelming. Uh, Fnatic went won a very quick 2-0 victory against NRG. NRG, they just didn't look like themselves in this match at all. Um, Fnatic couldn't really read into boast well. And Alpha yeah, and Chronicle, they just cleaned it up. And, and Leo as well. Uh, 13 on Fracture for Fnatic and 13 4 on Bind for Fnatic. Bit of a yikes there. Here is the performance though. Not a lot of stuff other than, other than 1v2 wins. I won from Alpha yeah, and one from Finesse. Paper Rex versus DRX. And uh, Paper Rex, they did not have. Uh, something in, in in their lineup when they were at Master Tokyo, so CGRS had to fill in. And to be fair, CGRS actually played pretty well for Paper Rex um, during this tournament. DRX also had Zest in the lineup, and I'm a bit scared for DRX, I'll be honest. Uh, Jing, he had a phenomenal game. Obviously, this was the rematch of the Grand Final. Phenomenal game from Jing. Uh, Mako and Arby, they weren't too bad, it just, yeah, it was, it was kind of messy for side of DRX. Uh, 13 10 on Split for Paper Rex, and, and also 13 10 as well on Bind, um, also for Paper Rex. Jing, though, 328 ACS from Jing. He is crazy. Um, performance-wise, though, an ace from Arby, two 4Ks from Jing, and 4 k from Paper Rex, and that's a really all I can really say. And this is when the storybook, um, or fairy tale, I should say, um, for Edward Gaming started. They won against the first America seed of Loud. Obviously, I lost his champions, and they just were lost. They were so lost throughout our whole time. Nobody had a, had a wonderful game. He had there was so many multi-kills that nobody had, and clutches as well that he won. Um... Chichi, he also did phenomenal. Everyone basically in, in Edward Gaming contributed to this to this win, which was phenomenal. To see, uh, Aspas and Les, they was they, they, there were some good moments from, from both of them, but oh, other than that, it was just oh, it was not pretty to see. Thirty six on Lotus from Edward Gaming and thirteen ten on Fracture. 
for the side of Edward Gaming once again. Performance wise though, uh, 4Ks all around. Um, uh, one 4K from Nobody, two 4Ks from Kang Kang, um, and then for the side of Loud, Karanzine and Aspas, both of them having one and less having two 4Ks. DRX versus NRG. Um, NRG, they win against DRX, and this is obviously one game without Zest in the, well, sorry, with Zest in the lineup. I'm, I'm a bit, I'm, yeah, this is where I was a bit worried for DRX since obviously they were supposed to be the top seed for Pacific and, and even for Loud as well. Loud, they just, I mean, both Loud and DRX, they were just lost, I feel like. They, would, they just didn't know what they were doing most of the time. Um, v Victor, he had a wonderful game in this match. I'm uh, pretty sure Slum also had a, a, a couple of clutches as well, but... DRX, it was just, uh it was not pretty to see how well DRX did. Well, how badly I should say DRX did, but it was either way, it was, it was, a, it was a pretty close game. Either way, 13-11 on Pearl for NRG and 13-5 on Haven, though, for NRG. So, Pearl was pretty close, but well, Haven, not really. Artists also having a good map as well. Uh, Performance-wise, a 1v3 clutch won by Stax from DRX, and even a 4K as well from Stax and RB for DRX. And majority of them, except for Finesse, had a 4K. Crashy is having one, and Artist, Victor, and Som, all three of them having two 4Ks. Paper Rex versus Fnatic, and this was a pretty convincing win for, Fran for Fnatic against Paper Rex, a 2 0 victory for Fnatic. Durka continues to show of why he is regarded as one of the best duelists in the world. Clint Alfie as well, Chronicles are doing a phenomenal job. Uh, Jing, he was the only per he was the only uh, player player to actually go positive, and uh, pretty sure in one of these matches, yeah, three hundred thirty-seven ACS from Jing, even though it was a it was like just a it was a complete bloodbath uh, for on Lotus for 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 Paper X. It was a thirteen five for for Fnatic. He still did a phenomenal job. Three hundred thirty-seven ACS, great job by Jing, and um, combined as well thirteen seven. For the side of Fnatic. I'm pretty sure on Lotus was a defense. Yeah, defense. 668 ACS. I'm pretty sure that is the most ACS. Or the I, I think that might be the biggest ACS we've, we've ever seen in Valorant. But I might be wrong about that. And even a 3.07 rating. Good God, Jing. Carry this team. Uh, Performance wise. Bunch of 4Ks, Jing and Forsaken both him game 4Ks, and Chronicle and Durka both him game 2 4Ks, and even uh, 153 Clutch 1 as well by Durka and Alphia. Team Liquid versus Evil Geniuses, and Evil Geniuses, they continue their Cinderella story as well, just like Liquid Gaming, uh, to win against Team Liquid, obviously now the first seed of Emiya. Bustio, um, even, though he is also, uh, even though he is the IGL, did a wonderful job. Com as well, doing, doing a good job as well. Nazi was the only one who did pretty well. Um, I feel like Yampi was also pretty decent as well. Uh, Fracture, 13 2 on <laughs> Fracture for Evil Geniuses. Oh boy. And 13 on Haven for, for Evil Geniuses as well. So, pretty convincing win, especially on Fracture. Uh, two 4Ks from, uh, from, uh, from Bustio and Com. And even a 1 3 3 Clutch 1 as well from Jogamo. Team Liquid, they then lose against NRG in the lower bracket final, lower bracket round 2 I should say. A pretty close game either way, but Team Liquid was sent home pretty early. Uh, Natsy had a great game, Soulcast had a great game, and then for that NRG, Victor, he continues his very his very consistent dominance, and then Storm as well also appearing pretty well there. R is also the same, Crash is in finance, both of them going basically just neutral, uh, which is still pretty good. 14-12 on Haven, which is still pretty close. 13-8 on Ascent for Team Liquid, and 13-5 on Split for NRG. So Haven was really close, Ascent wasn't that close, and Split was just a pure bloodbath. Uh, Performance-wise, two 4Ks from Soulcast, and one, and one 4K from Nas for Team Liquid. Two 4K as well from Victor, one, one 4K from Psalm, and even a, 1v, a couple 1v2 clutch wins as well. Paper Rex, uh, they end their, they end Edward Gaming's dominance as uh, they um, won against Edward Gaming. And to be fair, Edward Gaming, they they definitely put China on the map. Um, this really reminded me of the Zay Division and was a Masters uh, Masters Reykjavik in last year. That th this really, really reminded that run that Edward Gaming had was really, really good. Um, 
Devai. Phenomenal job by Devai. Um, and Jing also doing a good job as well. CGRS actually has some pretty good memories as well, but um, um, yeah, I mean, to be fair, I, I, I also want to give us a lot, a lot of praise to CGRS for like, what was it, like 10 days of practice with Paper X. He actually did pretty well in this tournament, so I think CGRS should be pretty happy on, on, on where, on, you know, how he played, um, obviously in this one. Obviously, he could have, obviously, he could have improved, uh, more, but, I think he still did a wonderful job um, for um, basically for Paper X in this tournament. Smoggy, he did he tried his best. He, oh, I'm what was I'm pretty sure like slow to I'm pretty sure he was just he, he was trying so hard. Um, actually, it might have been split actually. I'm pretty sure it was split where he was just trying so hard um, to get um, Edward Gaiman over the line. Fracture went to Paper X 14 12. That was an amazing match to watch. 13 on Split went to Edward Gaming, and then 13 on Lotus went to Paper X. <laughs> so it did go back and forth, um, but Paper X was just a tiny bit better, in my opinion, than Edward Gaming. Bunch of 4Ks, Jin Game won 4K for Paper X, and Nobody, Kang Kang, and Smoggy, all three of them gained a game won 4K each, and 1v3 Clutch wins as well from Divide, from Paper X, and Nobody from Edward Gaming. Fnatic, they. Um, yeah, they went against Evil Geniuses to punch their ticket to the grand final. And this was also the only time where Fnatic dropped a, dropped a map. They dropped a map to Evil Geniuses, which is a, which, which is pretty shocking. Um, the three, I, I guess maybe the big three, I guess from the tournament, Leo, Kronko, and Alpha, yeah. Durka kind of just wasn't anywhere, really. He was really, like, he was just, he, he was aimed at. Um, in this in, uh, in this tournament, uh, even though there was a, there was a couple good like a, a good um, what, what I'm trying to say, there's some couple good moments from Durka, but he was just getting shut off most of the time, um, especially as the duelist play. But everyone else, I mean, like Leo, Chronicle, Alpha, both so they they all failed and did a great job. I'm not saying that Durka did shit. I'm just saying that he got picked up quite a lot. Um, yeah, first death eleven, but I mean he bounced back to get twenty first kills, so. At least that's a bit of a positive there. Uh, Lotus, 13-3. <laughs> that was not good to see. 13-9 and now on Fracture went to, went to Evil Geniuses. That, that's this kind of solidified as um, EG being the best Fracture team. And 13-11 on Split for the side of Fnatic. Very, very close. Went back and forth, but uh, Fnatic did close it out. Performance-wise, two 4Ks from Leo and Chronicle from Fnatic. Sorry, Leo and Durka, I should say, from Fnatic. And uh, two one three three clutch wins as well from Bustier and Com. NRG uh, they lost to Paper X to um, not to um, uh, from third place. So Paper X locked themselves into the third through first seed, I guess, or first to third seed. Don't really care. But it was this also locked Paper X as well to make it um, uh, to be add to the you know, what I call it the uh, the the other the next event or the next I. I, I I can't remember what the what, what the call it, but it's the, like another stadium basically. Um, so, yeah, I I, I cannot explain what like, <laughs> I I generally can't explain it, but whatever. Um, but yeah, two one for Paper X. Uh, this is kind of actually when CGRS kind of. I mean, there was a couple of clutch wins as well that you had, especially that one against Som in Pearl that that definitely stuck out to me. Um, I, don't know, I mean, I mean, Som he had a game. Uh, he really was. Like, I can obviously imagine how much he wanted to be Paper Rex. Uh, Finance also also doing a great job as well. Um, but yeah, and I also, also seen R as well on Chamber, which is a bit of a throwback, but it was kind of confusing to me. Fifteen thirteen on Pearl. Uh, for Paper Rex, I was believe that was obviously when CGRS got that clutch win against Som. Uh, Thirteen six on Lotus for side of NRG. And 13-11 on Bind for Paper X, and that's when we get to see Artist on Chamber, which was incredibly strange, but it won't be the final time where, where uh, we get to see Chamber on Bind. Uh, Performance-wise, obviously two aces this time coming out from Forsaken on Paper X, one full case as well from Furnace for NRG, and also Jing, Mindfreak, and Devi. Evil Geniuses, um, they beat out Paper X in a very, very close 3-2 victory for, Evil, for, uh, for EG. Demon 1 almost getting a 100k bomb in this entire match. 
try to um, have a bit of a role play, like something, um, but I sadly couldn't, um, couldn't really do it. CGRS played five agents, shout out to him. Um, but Demon One, he had a wonderful game. He did, he did a really good job here. 13 7 on Fracture went to EG. 14 12 on Lotus went to Paper Rex. Split on 13 10 went to Paper Rex. 13 6 on Pearl went to EG. And 13 8 on Ascent went to EG as well. And just like I said, Demon One, he was definitely a demon. A bunch of 4Ks here 1 4K from Jogger and 4 4Ks from Demon One. And one 4K from from Jing and Mind Freak from Paper Rags, including four Sega with three and CGRS with two, and even a one fifty three clutch win as well from Mind Freak. And as for the grand final, the, the the grand final that I mean, it was a very weird grand final. Fnatic versus Evil Geniuses, EMEA versus North America, and it was EMEA. <laughs> it was EMEA who won a pretty convincing win against EG. Now, I'm not too sure when, when this video is going to be uploaded. It might be uploaded before my before my reaction, before my stream, or after my stream. But I was pissed off at Evil Geniuses. The amount of times that EG could have closed out this this game, especially on the third map of Bind, to make it to Ascent on the fourth map, pissed me off greatly. Um, there were so many instances. But Alphia, he was just being a lurking god. He was so good, especially on the chamber. So not sorry, not to change the cipher. He was so good on the cipher on both split and bind, uh, basically being a, a, a basically being a bit of annoyance as well for for EG. Ethan, he had a couple good moments, including Demon One, uh, Boostio going on Reina, which was a bit of a surprise, and Demon One on Chamber, which was also a bit of a surprise. I, could, I you also get to hear my reaction when my stream is uploaded. Uh, thirteen eight on Lotus for Fnatic, thirteen eleven on Split on Fnatic, and fourteen twelve on Bind. Uh, also for Fnatic, so it was still a very close game, but I was a bit, I was pretty disappointed in EG not able to close out the game in multiple rounds um, and, uh, before the OT. Jogmo also having a, um, a couple of Rosa ults as well, that was not fun to watch. Performance wise though, uh, for for the final match over in, in Tokyo, one uh, 4k from Durka from Fnatic and uh, two 4k's from EG. Well, I should say two four Ks on Boostio and one four K each on Jogmo and Ethan. So now let's just have a look at my pickums. So this is my regular pickums, and I was horrendous. Only got NRG right, um, and the Fnatic right. Everything else was um, pretty shit, pretty bad. I was a bit of a, I was a bit of, a, of an America's fanboy. I'll be honest. Um, I also thought I predicted Loud to win, but I predicted NRG to win, which was ten times worse. Um, actually, no, never mind. NRG was actually a pretty good shout. Loud was just shit. Um, but I was not good here at all. <laughs> at all, I was not good here at all. I got I only got thirty points, but not as bad as my little troll pick with Evil Geniuses, as I only got fifteen points. Yep, that's um, yeah, not good at all. Not good at all. <laughs> oh, that was painful. But, um, yeah, that was, yeah, we don't talk about those pickums. So with Masters Tokyo out of the way, we're going to take a break a bit of VCT, and we're going to move over now to uh, to VCL this time for the Challengers Ascension Leagues. Obviously, we have Pacific, which obviously I'll, ma I'll make a separate video for that. This obviously includes Americas and also EMEA. So that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys next time in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>